welcome to Moonflower Studio and today we're going to be painting this winter scene of birch trees and a pine tree with snow on it. So start out by masking out with your masking fluid and an old brush. Um, all of the birch tree trunks and any branches that are more in the foreground or any branches that you want to remain white. So the masking fluid is literally keeping the white of the paper nice and pure. So we're going to also do the pine tree and we're going to mask out all of the um, tops of the branches where the snow would fall and stick to the branches. And then when we're done with that, um, I like to give it a quick spray um, just to uh, show some snow flakes falling and keep that white of the paper of snowflakes falling. When using masking fluid, you always want to make sure that it is completely dry before you start painting in your background or anything. Um, I would just really leave it alone for about an hour. Um, you can come and touch it and see, but if you have some thicker dots of masking fluid and you run your brush over it, it's going to literally ruin your paper. So. Um, I like to wait till it's completely dry and I don't recommend using a heat gun on your masking fluid either because I think it almost can seal it to the paper so you really want to let it to dry naturally. So here um, my painting is completely dry and I added in some cerulean blue to the sky and I'm dipping it into my burnt sienna or burnt umber and a little mixture of the blue to add variety. And this is kind of the trees in the background um, behind the birch trees. And I'm just leaving a little horizon line there so it's like um, separated from the bottom. And all those little dots are actually my spray of my masking fluid. And um, when we pull that off, it's gonna look like snowflakes.
So now I'm adding some more blue and I'm adding it to the tree trunk. So let's think that the sun is coming um, from the left corner. So my shadows are gonna go towards the right. And I'm just kind of adding it and adding water to each side of it and leaving the white spaces in between. So it looks like, you know, like the snow drifts and the shadows of the tree on the snow. So this is almost sort of like a backlit um, painting uh, or the it is sunny on the the right and the left side is the shadow um, we're going to come back in after we remove the masking fluid and add some shadows to the left side of the birch trees So now I'm going to go do the same thing over on the pine tree. I know we wet the whole background for the uh, birch trees. You can do this also with the, um, the pine tree, but I just literally added uh, a gradient wash behind there, kind of loose so that it looks like clouds or a misty snowy day. And I dropped in a few trees in the background. It's, it's your painting. You, you're the creator, so you decide what you want back there. And um, there's a little bit of more green in that um, blue mixture uh, for the pine tree background. In the front, I'm adding the snow drips with more of that cerulean blue. So my birch trees are now pretty dry in the background. So I'm going to come in with my small rigger brush or you can use a number two or small brush that you have. And I'm adding darker branches with a um, Payne's gray and maybe a little blue mixed in. And just decide where your branches are. They're mostly near the tops of the trees. And I'm also adding some darker actual tree trunks that would be further away in the woods and nothing is perfectly straight in nature everything is you know grows kind of all over the place just look out the window and look at any tree forest nothing is perfectly straight up and down it's um so that's the beauty of it you have kind of a shaky hand that's okay because branches are not perfect So I'm going to add some more browns um, right on the under parts of the trees. It's going to be like the underbrush, the branches and the bushes and, you know, little things that are growing, grasses, whatever is out there in the forest, um, edge of the woods. And I'm just like very casually making these marks. And then I'm going to mix a nice green and it's probably like a hooker's green, a little bit of a darker phthalo green together and start painting in the branches of the pine trees. Now my background is dry at this time behind the trees so you really want to wait for that to dry before you start painting in those greens. I'm using my square brush here and um, I'm just like using it on the side and here I added my stem and I'm gonna go back in and um, just decide where those branches are based on where I put all of the, um, the snow and I'm using my brush on the side and giving it little taps to show those little tiny branch stems. <laughs>
when you're happy with your tree and your forest, um, we're gonna wait for this to dry. I would go get a nice cup of tea. I would wait like an hour again because if you were to come back and remove your mask while the background was still even a little bit damp, it will ruin your painting. It'll actually tear up the paper. So don't use your um, dryer on it. Um, I feel that can just set the mask into some papers. And But you see I'm taking it off right now and it looks quite beautiful. a little longer there's a lot going on here but you can see that the painting is appearing and the birch trees are very white against this darker beautiful background that you put in So here I'm taking my Payne's Gray and I'm going around all of my birch trees and adding that shadow on one side. And then I'm gonna go back and add more shadows to the underside of branches. And I'm also going to come in with a little bit of that brown and just tick around the, um, the trunks here and there to add the, uh, the bark or the simulation of bark and it helps give those trees some form and some texture and then I will come in with some darker even black or the very pure Payne's Gray and add those lines that you see distinctly around the birch um, trunks.
Then we're going to go ahead with our rigger brush and add our final touches wherever you think that you want to add some grasses or branches in the foreground coming out of the snow. And you can add some blues under the bottom parts of your pine trees to show a little bit of shadow on those uh, branches. And um, we are just about done with this cute little painting. So here I'm adding uh, some more blue behind uh, the background of some of these trees just to make them pop more. It's your call what you think in your painting. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please uh, hit the subscribe button and share it and the notification button and I will see you in the next video.